and makes guacamole. Cilantro. I'm gonna use this tomato. I got six avocados. I'm using lemon instead of lime juice. Um, onion and garlic. Let's get to this. Um, I don't know where to start. So let's start with the avocados, I guess. No, we're gonna start with the garlic. That's a, I hate it. Cutting it the most, so. I don't know if you guys can see or not. I haven't started the Indian kitchen yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. We'll get turtle. No, I didn't get new knives. I just like these ones for cutting the garlic like this. Break it up easier. I don't have to worry about cutting my finger off either. Some people do chunky and some people do there's a little runny. Mine's kind of in between. I don't really care about taking out the tomato seeds. Some people do, some people don't. I leave them. If they're there, they're there. If they're not, they're not. I don't care. Get some chunky garlic. I have some little garlic. People roll it up into a ball, so we're going to do that. Some of these tricks, these recipes I got off of YouTube, I could not tell you. I can't remember all their names. I don't know where I stole these recipes from. Or half stole them. Or... Some people create their own. I did one before. I did a uh, head leftover bacon. Put it in there. I don't have anything left over now. So there we go. Some cilantro. Cilantro and the uh, garlic is cut. I guess so. We're gonna dig another. What I said. Bucket. I said bucket. First got them. This one here is probably the greenest out of them all, so let's see what she looks like. Hey. Oops. You see that? Not bad. Not bad. Brought me a spoon. sticky or slippery or slippery get a little slippery here try and, these things are expensive so I try and get as much out of them as I can actually I think you got six for three bucks so this week next week they're like six bucks so. You know what? I'm gonna wash. 
just because. I want to get it. And I know I already did one. I know, I know, I know. Try and cut down any germs. Got all this stuff Thursday, and like I said, they were green. Didn't want them too green, I didn't want them too brown, they were on sale. So here's what they all look like. As you can see, the, one, the first one I did was the greenest, I think. So. There, you're a little, hopefully that's a little better for you. Okay. So the reason why apparently we add, there's nothing really in there, I guess a bunch of good oils and stuff, so tell us to add tomato for sure and lemon juice or lime juice I guess I'm using lemon because I didn't grab the limes and I keep cutting this the wrong way in the wrong spot ta-da so there's no citrus in this so that's why we add the lemon or the lime there's no acidity to it so that's why we add tomato I believe I got that right I don't something like that am I wrong Did I got backwards or am I completely gone on that anyways you know people have their own little recipes so oh I can smell these these are good the best ones are from Mexico. These ones here, they better be from Mexico. As I said, they were. Avocados. Mediocre. Six piece. Can you see that? There we go. Product of Mexico. Real nice place to visit, apparently. My brother goes there quite a bit. My mom. Finally, if you guys are into martial arts, watch Mexican martial arts, Mexican MMA. Jesse, he's really good. Let's see, let's see, I'll give you, oh yeah, so my picks. So I'll, I'll do my picks again. It's, well, it's six o'clock here. Uh, Prera, Wei Lee. And uh, I got Chandler, I got Chris, and I got uh, Pulas, Pulas, or Palalas, <coughs> I think his name was. Man, man, oh geez, that's a lot of avocado here. A little bit more than I thought. It smells decent. Oh, look at that. Come on, I've never had that happen before. Never have I had that happen. These things are greasy little burgers though. I forget what vitamins they got in them, but it's supposed to be really good oils. Had high cholesterol, like really high apparently, so. <coughs> These raw mini wheats, I think I got one caught me through. Oh yeah, that's better. Wait, hey, you getting something caught right in the back of your throat and you get nothing to wash it down with? Oh, I hate it. They're out somewhere. They're out. <laughs> Trying to cough it out. So. Wow, what a day. So we got snow today. We got MMA. And we got hockey. Christmas in six weeks. Like. Wow, did we ask for anything better? Remembrance Day was yesterday, and we might have our first brown spot. We do. Look at that. First brown spot right there. That's not bad. Let's be honest. One out of six so far. I didn't even see that until I turned it over, or until it came out. And it's not that bad. It's right there, one brown spot. <laughs> I'm checking all of them. Whew. 
What a bunch of work. These things are getting greasy. Come on, get out, get out. This one here might not be as right as the other ones. Looks like it. Actually, looks like it's the rightest, but the key thing about this stuff here is I should actually be doing this a lot quicker uh, because once the air gets to it, it starts browning up. That's the downfall of the avocado. So, yeah, this one here was. Uh, So I have a tomato and onion to put in here. I'm going to mash her up. Man, is that stuff greasy? So I'm going to pour some lemon juice in there now. That should be enough. Cut up this tomato right now. Oh, there's not very much tomato or uh, seed in this one. So we're just going to use the whole thing. Do -do 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 -do, do -do -do -do. Yes, I already washed the tomatoes. Before I uh, put the tomatoes in, I'm going to use the whole tomato. Before we get into that, I'm going to mash those up, mix it in a bit, and then I'll mix the tomato and stuff in. This tomato smells nice too. So before I add this in, mash that up. And I'll add tomato and then I'll add the onion and we'll just stir them together. You know what I mean? Instead of mashing them in, I'll just mix them in. I gotta do this quick. Start editing videos, and I don't like doing that. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're, I know what you're all saying. It's okay, so let me check. Did you see that? I don't know how long I've been doing this for 14 minutes. Okay, so let's add this in. Too much time on this. some color to this. Because they're all probably I don't even 
you move faster. Anyway, it's not like you chop your fingers off with that little four year old's knife. Come on. You're done. Can I give this to your daughter? Start just keeping a roll of paper towels over here. So, this is what we got. Now I'm going to mix it together and then we're going to put plastic over the top of it. And we all know what we're eating them with, right? Casa Bonita Cantina style. Hi, you see those? Those are my new chips. We're going to be using from here on in. So, mix this up till I get in there again. Don't feel too runny, nice and easy to mix though. Flatten her down. Kind of get as much off the sides as you can. You can just seal this a bit with some plastic wrap. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do it. Like. Taking that up to the compost. Measure it out here. I'll let you guys see it real quick. There we go. The sides, the bottom. See that? Oh, yeah. Let's get it before it starts to uh, go brown. So I like to lift up one end, just go around, lift it up, Oops. use what's on the side to seal it as well. Don't want any air getting at it or it turns brown. Well, there we go. Into the fridge. Thanks for watching.